Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this motion trail text effect in After Effects without using any plugins. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. I am calling it Motion Trail Effect. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 10 seconds. Go to the toolbar and select the type tool. Click anywhere on the screen. Then type your text. Then align your text to the center. Right click on the text layer. Then choose Precompose. Select the text layer, and hit the R key on the keyboard to open rotation properties. Go to about 10 frames forward. Then add a keyframe. Go to 1.20 seconds forward. Then change the rotation to 1 round, or 360 degrees. Go to a few frames forward. Then add a keyframe with the same value. Go to 3.20 seconds forward. Then change the rotation value back to 0. Repeat the same process till the end. Select all keyframes. Right click. Go to Keyframe Assistant. Choose Easy Ease. Keep the keyframes selected. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and drag the last keyframe to the end of the timeline. Let's see the preview. Select the text layer. Press the U key on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes. Go to Graph Editor. If your graph doesn't look like this, click this little button, and select the value graph. Then slightly change the curves to make it a smooth animation. Drag and drop the text layer to the composition. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Fill. Drag and drop to the bottom text layer. Select the bottom text layer. And drag the pick whip to the top text layer. If you can't see the parent options, right click here. Go to Columns, then enable the Parent and Link option. Now, our second text is connected to the first one. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Echo. Drag and drop to the bottom text layer. Let's change the Echo settings. Set the echo time to minus 0.020. Change the number of echoes to 40. Change the decay to 0.86. Let's preview it. As you can see, nothing is happening. Don't worry. Just turn on the Continuously Rasterize option. Let's see the result. Looks good to me. Let's change the fill color to orange. Cool. 
Right click on the blank space. Then new. Select the null object. Rename it to color control. Right click on the color control layer. Go to effects. Then expression controls. Choose color control. Change the color if you like. Lock the control options. Select the bottom text layer. Press the E key on the keyboard to open effects. Then under the fill effect, hold the Alt key on the keyboard. And click this little stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then drag the pick whip to the color control. Then unlock the control options. Duplicate the bottom text layer. Change the decay value to 0.91. Select the middle text layer. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect of Gaussian blur. Drag and drop to the text layer. Change the blurriness to 20. Also, apply the same effect on the bottom text layer. Select the color control layer. And change the color you like. I am going with the blue color. You are free to use any color you like. I am just showing you the technique. But you can create a better animation than this. Let's see what we have created so far. Amazing. I am happy with the results. I will add the project file link in the description. I hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much for your love, and support. Good luck.